My name is Michelle, and this is my five-month-old baby boy, Landon. He has hypoplastic left heart syndrome, and he's recently had two open heart surgeries at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. We found out we were actually having twins two weeks into it, because we really wanted boys, and we got two. Right after finding out their gender, we were taken to a room where the OB came in, and he explains, I can't see the bottom left side of your child's heart. As a parent, it's just one of those really terrifying experiences because it's essentially something you have no control over. It's okay to be scared. Just know that this is the start of the recovery process for you and your child. That once you get home, you may be doing the incision care. So this is something you need to get used to looking at and touching and feeling. In this short video, we'll provide you with an overview of how to care for your child's wound after arriving home from the hospital. We'll begin with a list of supplies that are needed to properly care for your child's wound. Then we'll demonstrate how to clean the wound, which precautions to take to keep your child safe, and finally, being aware of certain signs and symptoms that would determine when to call for help. Supplies and Environment the supplies needed to care for your child's wound are few and simple. First, find two new clean washcloths in your house. Second, collect a clean towel. This will be used as a clean surface to place your child upon. Then you will need either baby shampoo, baby wash, or a non-antibacterial bar soap, which you can purchase at your local grocery or pharmacy. Next, you will need clean water to rinse the soapy washcloth. You may choose to clean the wound in an area not conveniently located next to running water. Our mother Michelle utilizes a simple plastic container filled with warm water to rinse her washcloth. These simple items are all you will need unless you have been provided specific instructions by your doctors or nurses. How to clean the wound Now that you have collected the necessary supplies, you are ready to clean the wound. Remember, clean wounds start with clean hands. Always wash your hands thoroughly prior to touching your child's wound. Be sure to always place your child in a clean environment. Carefully remove your child's top and start with inspecting the wound for signs of infection. A list of specific signs of infection will be presented later in this video. Next, collect one clean washcloth and place a dime size amount of baby shampoo, baby wash, or non-antibacterial bar soap on the washcloth. Then lightly wipe over the steri strips and incision. If your child's wound has dermabond or glue placed over the incision, be sure to wipe around the perimeter instead of directly on the dermabond. Next, rinse the washcloth out and wring till damp. Then, lightly wipe off the soap. Finally, use the other clean, dry washcloth to pat the wound dry. The best way to prevent infection is to keep the incision clean and dry. Remember to do this at least once a day until the incision is healed. Precautions in addition to cleaning the wound, there are important precautions that you should be attentive to in order to keep your child safe and promote optimal healing. Avoid picking up your child under their arms for four weeks after the surgery. Instead, lift them by supporting their head and bottom with your hands. Do not place your child in a tub or a soaking bath until the incision is completely healed. Do not allow your child to swim until all of the steri strips have fallen off or the dermabond has flaked off. Do not use lotion or ointments on the incision unless instructed otherwise by your doctor or nurse. Healing tissue is more sensitive to sun damage. Keep your child's incision covered from sunlight. Once the incision is completely healed, use a high SPF sunscreen lotion to protect the scar from the sun. If your child is older, avoid activity that may lead to blunt trauma to the chest for at least four weeks. These activities may include climbing, bike riding, roller skating, participation in gym class, or any contact sport. 
when to call. It's very overwhelming, all the information they give you at discharge. And it's also okay to ask for help and to definitely be informed to know when to ask for help. Watching for signs of infection is important. Remember to check the incision at least once a day for the first two weeks. The incision should look the same from top to bottom. There should be no indication of openings or holes in the incision. You should call your doctor immediately if you notice any signs of infection which may include a fever that is over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, redness and swelling around the incision. However, a pink color around the wound is acceptable. Drainage from the incision, especially if the drainage is yellow, green, or has an odor, or if there is a sudden increase in pain that is not relieved by medicines. We hope this video provides you with valuable instructions on how to care for your child's wound. The doctors and nurses at Cincinnati Children's are always available to answer your questions both day and night. Remember, as a parent, you know your child best. Do not hesitate to call the hospital if you have any questions or concerns.